Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you five tips and tricks that you can use to beat Dictator's Root No Peace really easily. So, when you start a new one, right here, I'm just going to continue previous, because I don't want to lose my progress. Let's see here. All right, there you go. Now it's starting. So, um, tip number one. Um, look for ways that you can easily find to make more money. Some examples are these buttons right here. If you click them, you can see um, that you have some production. And you need to upgrade them so that you can make more money more quickly. You can also take down these planes and get a whole bunch of money as well. And also, the more countries and the stronger countries that you invade, the more production that you have. So over here in the United States, um, I have a whole bunch of stuff. And yeah. See ya. Tip number one. When you first start out, look for the weaker countries. Countries like, um, oh, I just lost Sierra Leone. Countries like Sierra Leone. Senegal, you know, those. And in Europe, the former countries of Yugoslavia and Moldova are the way to go. Tip number three, always use your nuke on a strong country. If you use your nuke on a weak country, you basically just wasted your nuke. Use your nuke on a strong country, like for, say, France. Don't use it on a country like Serbia, because it won't be worth it. If you do want to use it on a weak country like Serbia, go for it. If you want to use it on a country like India, then go for it. But I'm just saying, using your nuke on a strong country will weaken the country and pull it towards your um, status, your strong stuff, like that, so that you can easily take down the country and get all of its production, so you can make more money, and thus creating more weapons. Tip number four. Uh, did the game just freeze? If you find um, a tree, trade good deals message in here, click on it, because you can make serious profits. And besides, some of them are pretty cheap as well. I made a profit of $3,000 once when the price of the item was just 100 Actually, it was 90 So, yeah. Use the trade good deal sign. And finally, tip number five. Always make sure to AFK sometimes. Because um, if you AFK, you can get loads of money. However, there is a side effect to that, as you may lose some colonies. However, they may be weak ones. So if you can 
pick up all your armies and pick them up to make sure that you are a hundred percent safe from any potential invaders coming or any rebellions coming in order to get their country free or you know stuff like that so uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed five tips and tricks that you can use for dictators no peace And hopefully you will be able to beat it easily.